Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Tonight we are back doing Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. And we are going back to 1997. And we are opening not one, but two boxes of top stars. And we're chasing after the uh, rookie reprint autographs, insert cards that are 1 in 30 packs. Also some other insert cards. And there's also a few rookie cards that we're going to be looking for tonight, too, in both these boxes. I never got to experience these as a kid. I was kind of on my way out in 97. Uh, the first time I got a glimpse of these was actually opening a Yak Pack case a few months ago, um, which is ironic that uh, everything always leads back to the Yak Pack. The Yak Packs are the meaning of life. But anyways, enough about that. Um, like I said, we got several inserts we're chasing after. We have a 125 card base set. These are kind of premium cards back then. Um, but the rookie reprints, you have autographs, one in 30 packs, and you also have the regular rookie reprints, which we'll probably see like one per stack. They're about one in six packs on average. And we have box one, we'll put box two way up there off to the side, out of sight, out of mind. And we'll start cracking into these. And my buddy Corey, Ripping for Ripkins, actually opened a box of these that he posted last night. And um, you'll have to check that video out to see if uh, he had any kind of luck on his box. He did pull a really nice Randy Johnson uh, all-star card that um, we're out of like the second pack. So first glimpse here, we have seven cards per pack, 24 packs per box. And we got John A. on the clock on um, the top left. CNM them collectibles in here, two stacks in this magic tonight. Let's hit some magic. CNM Collectibles, thanks so much, man. Corey, please post a link to Chad's channel. He actually has two spots in here uh, coming up here pretty soon. Really appreciate you being here. Hopefully, we can pull you some fire. And the first six packs here, like I said, seven cards per pack. So the first 42 cards, let's get a feel for what we got. And uh, nice looking green packs here. Hopefully, there's no... Um, Sticky business here. Like I said, Corey opened a box of these. He didn't have any really problems uh, with cards sticking together. But uh, first glance here, we got Hall of Famer Craig Biggio. Very nice design on these ones. Very, very cool cards. I feel like these are ones that a lot of people just didn't really have back then. I know the uh, we have an insert card. Our very first pack is Ray Lankford. It might be a Cal Ripken Jr. Check that out. In the very first pack... All-Star Memories, that is pretty freaking awesome. Very beautiful insert card. Check that one out. <laughs> and Corey is already shaking his head in disgust. That is definitely a beautiful one. John A., maybe you can trade Ripping for Ripkins, that card. Maybe you guys can work a deal out. Definitely a beautiful looking Ripkin there. Corey says he sent me the wrong damn box. <laughs> Greg Maddox, John Smoltz, Tom Glavin... Three aces from the Braves and Adam Kennedy, 97 draft pick. Um, the last several cards make up the draft pick prospect part of the subset. Adam Kennedy, I vaguely remember that name, but what a beautiful Kyle Ripken in the very first pack. Gotta love that one. Peyton Manning fan, what's happening? Ray Langford is similar to Bernard Gilkey. Brian Z says, Jake Pieces, I've never seen this set. Hey, Jake, I sent you an email. Check your email, man. I sent you an email on Saturday. And I just sent you another email today. It looks like we have another insert card in the second freaking pack. Dave Justice leads off. And our first rookie reprint is going to show up. Maybe back to back? Jeez. He definitely sent you the wrong box. We'll save those for later. And it looks like I already saw it. Larry Walker, Chuck Knobloch. There's Chili Davis. Chris Stowe or Stow. I remember the name, but I don't remember how to pronounce it. I don't think he was around for too long. Robin Roberts. Hall of Famer Robin, Robin Roberts with the 52 Tops design. Um, I believe he passed away just before uh, these were released, so he was not able to sign one. Um, very, very nice, though. Rookie reprints, Robin Roberts. I like that one a lot. And the no-numbered the no -numbered, uh, checklist, they randomly threw these ones in there. And we have Noma. Keep thinking these cards are sticking together. But first glance at rookie reprints. Off to a good start, I'd say, though. So you're going to see about one of those uh, per stack. But the odds of the rookie reprint autos are 1 in 30, 24 packs in a box. So hopefully we'll see one, maybe even two. There's old JV Lopes. <laughs> Another insert card, Javi Lopez, sticking to, look at that, future All-Stars, Vladdy G. A little bit of white showing on the top of there, but um, 
Very cool. I have not seen these yet either. Future All-Stars, the odds of pulling one of those bad boys. Looks like um, 1 in 12 packs, so not too shabby. Derek Remington, what's happening? Very nice. Hall of Famer, Vladimir Guerrero Sr., Jeff Conan, Dante Bichette, Jason Standridge. Todd Helton is a nice one. His rookie card is actually 93 tops traded. But uh, nice prospect card to him. And, of course, everyone's favorite, Travis Lee, whose rookie card in 97 Bowman took the world by storm <laughs> the same year. So that card was probably a big one back then, along with Chris Benson. Chris Benson was definitely a big, big prospect. And there's Mo Rivera, a nice one, too. I'm very excited, um, too. I'm going to be opening a product with, that has him in it early on in his career that I didn't even know existed until a few days ago. So that'll be coming up sometime soon, hopefully. There's Matt Williams in his Indians attire. Robin Ventura. Mike Piazza. A lot of nice names so far. A lot of Hall of Famers. Barry Larkin. Sammy Sosa. That is one hell of a pack. <laughs> I thought it said Johnny Romano. Jason Romano and Chris Stowe. Once again, the prospects. And oddball cards in here says Taco Bell should make the passes a lot of business partner. Shout out to Boomslang and Ripkins. Check them out. Oddball card, Shane. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate that. That would be absolutely glorious, pairing up and partnering with Taco Bell. I don't think that there's really anything else in this world that would be as glorious as that. I really appreciate that, Shane. Thank you for always being here, man. It's always good to see you. Sean Franco, Corey posted a link to Shane Oddball Cards channel. Check him out. Give him a sub whenever you get a chance. Um... Definitely a great guy. Manny Ramirez, Ron Gant, Harold Baines, Allerud. There is the Big Hurt. These are nice cards, man. These are definitely nice cards. I could see these probably being at least three bucks a pack back then. Somewhere in that range, maybe even a little more. Jason Standridge. Todd Helton, again, the same coalition that we loved in the 90s cards. And the cocky and short-lived smile of Travis Lee. Appreciate you guys posting links. Joe B, what's happening, man? The final pack for John A. I think you had a great stack already, man. These boxes, these cost me about 90 bucks a piece. It was roughly around $90, I believe. I don't think there's any more on eBay right now. There was a seller I think had three. Corey bought one that I bought two because I wanted to try to pull on these rookie reprint autos. Um, yes, yeah, so I, don't, I don't think there's any more on eBay right now. You can check, but... If you think it's worth it and you want to get yourself one. Jason Dixon, Dennis Eckersley for uh, Ripping Vintage. It's one of his, his PC guys if he's in here. Sandy Almar, Gary Sheffield, Fred McGriff, and Jason Romano ends that pack out. A lot of Hall of Famers in that stack and some nice inserts. Vladdy Guerrero insert was sweet, but uh, I don't think that we can compare it to that sweet Kyle Ripken. What a beautiful card. That is freaking awesome. John A., is now in the books. Let's go on to CNM Collectibles. Chad R. Top right. You are up, man. Let's see what we can pull out of here. Dirk Remington's in here too. Says your package should be arriving next day or so. Dirk, thanks so much. I'm excited and worried at the same time. I don't know why these last two packs are upside down. Is that some sort of omen? Maybe we'll have a Bernard Gilkey in there. Yeah, appreciate that, Dirk. I saw Dirk, I think, posted a video today, I believe. I didn't get a chance to watch it yet, though, but check out Dirk Remington's channel, his finds from the road. We have Paul Canerico, which actually just finally bought his rookie card on eBay like two days ago. His 94 tops traded. I never owned it, and uh, it was like $1.75 free shipping. Like, I never, ever come across that card. I need to get that in my PC. So I should be getting that in the next couple days or, or so. Tony Womack rookie card shows up and a checklist. I keep thinking that checklist is going to be like some sort of parallel because <laughs> it's like flipped upside down like that. And I'm disappointed every time. John Smoltz, Pat Henkin. I thought that was Roy Halladay for a second. Roy Halladay's rookie year, actually 97, but uh, he did not have a card in this set. And there is Paul Canerco. Nice prospect card. Paul else is Canerco as a red or dodger is straight up wrong. <laughs> Crime dog should be in the hall, Ryan H. says. I think a lot of people agree with you on that. <laughs> NCJ, what's happening? FJ, what's going on? Vernon Wells rookie card. So the big ones we're looking for, really, Kerry Wood. Um, obviously, Lance Berkman, Kerry, Work, Kerry Wood probably being the two biggest ones. Jason Worth, and of course, Vernon Wells. No more Garcia Parra. We have another 
Rookie reprint. Is it going to be an autograph? Sean Estes for Frank the Tank. I think that's one of his PC guys. Say that for later. Hideo Nomo, early on in his career, his rookies were in 95. Todd Hunley, Randy Johnson. And there is Vernon Wells' rookie card for Chad. If you're a rookie collector like I am, that's a pretty cool one for your PC. Like that card. And it is Raleigh Fingers. Speaking of Yak Packs, Raleigh Fingers' rookie card. I don't know if I have... I think I do have that one in my PC, in my rookie collection. I have to go. I need to go back through here soon and check it out. But there is the young stash list, Raleigh Fingers. That's a cool one, though. Reprint of his rookie card, 1969 tops. That is a cool reprint, man. I definitely like that one. My lack of nails are not able to open these packs. I remember Corey said he had it a little bit of a tough time opening these ones. They don't give you a big tab to yank on. It's like we have another Adam Kennedy. There's Boom Slanks. I just dropped 10 bucks on a huge addition to my garage studio today. I'm sure you guys are going to like it once I have my grand opening. Boom Slank, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. Good to see you in here, as always. I appreciate you posting links and uh, doing all that mod business. I hope I read that correct. It says 10 bucks on a huge addition. Yeah, Boom Slank's building like a... And his shed, he's building it to be like a card corridor... Uh, a card, um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but I'm, I'm stoked to see the final product of that boom slang. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate that. Bernie Williams, Ricky Henderson, Jeff Blauser, Mike Piazza again. There's Dante Bichette. Kerry Wood, rookie card. Nice. You got Vernon Wells in the first pack. Kerry in the second. Jeff Goetz, or Goats. I remember the name, but I don't know how to pronounce it, apparently. Adam Kennedy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Jeff Goetz. Is that French? I don't know, man. But, yeah, definitely nice carry wood in the second pack. Very nice. Off to a good start. Richard says, Piazza, my PC. I've never seen this product. That's definitely a cool one, man. I don't think a lot of people really experience this. That's why I, I love doing this series because it enables me to go back and get boxes of stuff that I never got to experience, and I don't think a lot of other people got to experience either. So I'm trying to do some, like, oddball stuff that – like this, exactly. And it looks like we have an insert of Vernon Wells again. Jeff Bagwell, David Cohn, and a Vernon Wells. It looks like it's going to be one of these. I think these are called, what are these? Always Mint. Features foil on both sides. And these are, that's definitely a nice pull, man, especially for a Vernon Wells. Usually we get screwed and it's like a Derek Bell. Always meant one in 12 packs. So one in 12 and the pool, the shiny Vernon Wells. That's pretty freaking awesome, man. So you got two Vernon Wells. And right after that, you have a freaking Ken Griffey Jr. Can't beat that. Beautiful. The kid, Lofton, Paul Canerco again, and Brett Caradona. I don't remember that name at all. I'm not even going to try to lie and say that I do. Never, ever heard that name before. That was a freaking nice pack, though. We're off to a great start. We got two packs left for Chad in his first stack. Chris Benson, <laughs> who I think I definitely was obsessed with him back then. Of course, you probably knew that already. Juan Gonzalez, Mo Rivera, again. Always nice to see more than one of him, though. Matt Williams, Clemens, Ellis Burks, Wade Boggs. Pretty nice pack here. And, of course, the icing on the cake, Chris Benson, rookie card. Eat your heart out. And the final pack for Chad. Scott Hodges. Manny again. I've seen a lot of Manny's. Another rookie reprint, I think. Could be wrong. Larry Walker, Joe Carter, Big Mo with a possible... Eh, Scott Hodges. I thought it was going to be another insert. Bobby Bo and... You know, Slaughter, another one, man. You got two in your stack. Play ball card. That is pretty crazy, man. These are awesome. I like these a lot. Very, very cool. Number 14 of the 15 card set. So these are these are going to be all Hall of Famers, and there are parallels that they signed. So but like I said, they're 1 in 30 packs, but um, the regular reprints are 1 in 6 packs. So you're going to see one in every stack. In that case, we saw two in one stack. So maybe somebody else might get the shaft. Hopefully it's not Brian Z. He's up next. 
And good luck to you, Brian. I know I saw Brian in here earlier. Let's see if we can find you an auto, man. Eddie Matthews auto in here. Gaylord Perry. Kerry Wood rookie card is always a nice one to see. Jody Fias is Benson, decent guy. Yeah, we were definitely all about him when he first came on the scene. There's Conseco, first time seeing him. Bonds. Kevin Brown. Cal Ripken base. I know I pulled that out of the Yak Pack. All things lead back to Yak Packs. I'm telling you, it's the meaning of life. Griffey. Chipper Jones. Two PC guys for ripping for Ripkins. And Kerry Wood rookie card. Not a bad start, man. Paul, Paul says, too bad there's no Ken Landro reprint. That is a shame. That was a amazing pack. This box is pretty freaking awesome so far. There's that Adam Kennedy again. I would put him on the watch list, Paul, when you get a chance. Jim Edmonds, we have one in this pack. Richie Ashburn, Justin Thompson. It's not the auto. That would have been so cool if that was an auto of him. Number two of the 15-card set. I mean, those are freaking awesome. I like those a lot. Hideo Nomo, Raul Mondesi for Corey, mining for Mondesi's future channel. Keep an eye out for that. It's coming very soon. Move on. Adam Kennedy. I'm getting tired of seeing that Adam Kennedy, but uh, can't get tired of seeing Raul Mondesi. And Todd Helton. Back this next back. Marquise Grissom, Bobby Jones. Yeah, it's like it's like a dead giveaway if you have like an insert card because they this is what happens they stick together. So we have is that a, I thought it was a Mussina insert. Criterion Racer is with us. Thanks, Lee. Appreciate that, man. DC fan Chris says, "Who are we looking for tonight? We're chasing after these rookie reprint autos, but also uh, the rookie cards. Kerry Wood. We've seen a few of those. Lance Berkman, who hasn't showed up yet. Um, Jason Worth. Vernon Wells. We saw two of his." And Billy Wagner. A lot of people think he should be uh, getting a lot more Hall of Fame consideration. Future All-Stars. It's unfortunate um, with the texture of these cards. You see a little bit of paper loss to the top left. And also a little bit on the trim of the top. That's unfortunate about these. The rest of these cards are like embossed, which keeps them from sticking together. But uh, still a nice looking card regardless. Billy Wagner. Paul says, if Lee Smith is in, Billy Wagner should be in, in my opinion. I agree, man. There's Bobby Jones looking pissed off. Carlos Bayerga, or as we called him at one point, Carlos Berga. I think I've told that story a hundred times on here. But uh, I figure people need to hear it. Troy Cameron, Juan Encarnacion. Kind of a cringe name, I think, for some people to hear that. Wagner is on the 2020 ballot, DC fan Chris says. Yeah, he definitely... Um, deserves more consideration. Todd Helton ends that pack out. Nice name for Todd Helton. And Vernon, well <laughs> Vernon Wells again for the third time. Hey, Scott, what's happening, man? There's Benito leading off. And we still have another full box of these. Anybody who's joining us now, we're doing two boxes tonight. Raphael, P.E.D. Marrow, Moises Alou, Pat Henkin, and Todd Green, kind of another cringe-worthy worthy name from this time. I think I was all about him, too, believe it or not. And I guess that one's just a regular Vernon Wells rookie card, but still a decent one nonetheless. Omar Vizquel definitely deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to get – if you're a PSA guy, definitely pick up his rookies now. You can get his PSA 10 rookies for, like, 50 or 60 bucks. They will be going up, even if you're – guy that likes to invest in cards it's a decent investment for the next couple of years you'll make your money back no problem and then some pedro martinez uh no name on front or back checklist Vinny castilla travis fryman edgar martinez and there's chris benson rookie card again joe beast is a second the omar vote yeah scott Rowland. scott Rowland will more than likely get in here soon there's will clark for willie Joey Cora, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Sean Estes, Clemens, Joe Carter, Brad Fulmer. I remember being pumped on him around this time. I don't remember why, though. There's Jeff again, and it looks like we have... These cards are confusing to me. They just look like they're those parallels. Jason Romano and Chris Stowe ends that pack out. Scott Pike says, where'd you find these boxes? I bought them on eBay. Like I said, they were like um, they were like ninety bucks a piece, something like that. But I don't think there's any more on there. So like I said, Corey he opened a box of these yesterday, and um, 
the guy, the same seller, we bought this, these off the same exact seller. I bought the other two that he had because I figure try to pull one of these uh, rookie autos or reprint autos. Might as well go with two boxes. And it's a product that I've never seen, never opened, so I'm excited about it. And we got Joe Baumgarten in the uh, bottom right here. I know Joe is in here, so good luck to you, Joe. Let's find you something decent, man. Joe always has good luck, I feel like, in that bottom left corner. We have Mark Kotze, rookie card. Kind of a big name from back then. He looks absolutely terrified in that picture. <laughs> that is a disgusting look on his face. Jose Rosado, Daryl Kyle, Mark Wallers. The checklist, which I just feel the need to flip over every single time. I don't know why. Roberto Alomar, first time seeing him. There's Ryan Sandberg for Craig B. Randy Johnson. And Carl Pavano, the final card of that pack. Brian Z versus Give the Ripken and Jones to Corey for doing such a great job as moderator. Brian, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. I can definitely switch those over to Corey's stack. It's very generous of you, man. I know I have a bunch of stuff to send you, Brian. Like, uh, it'll probably be like an 800-count box because it's like... I don't know, what, a couple weeks worth of stuff, I think. But uh, hopefully we'll have that out to you tomorrow, man. Thank you. Appreciate you being here, too. Tony Womack, rookie card for Joseph Baumgarten, if he really cares. Jeff Blauser. And we do have a Hal Newhauser rookie reprint there. I've never seen that card before. That is pretty freaking awesome. Check that out. Number 10 of 15. If only that were a real signature. Pretty freaking nice. I like that one. Hal Newhauser. Lance Johnson, Kevin Apier, Brady Anderson. <laughs> Joe Yankees says Plunk Auto. Jason Delero. A 1953 Hal Newhauser reprint. Pretty sleek looking. <laughs> Paul L. That is true. There are plenty that I have never seen. I'm a noob. I hope you're sending me some Dom. <laughs> I could, <laughs> I might be able to find something there for you, Brian. There's Kurt Schilling, probably getting the Hall of Fame sooner than later. We would all think at least. Paul O'Neill for Norman. Another Vernon Wells. What is that? Five in one box. And it's like the parallel again. That's pretty neat and ironic. For Joe Yankee, I don't know if you like that one or not. You probably like the Cecil Fielder and uh, Paul O'Neill better. And the Tina Martinez. Yankees pack for you there. Scott Hodges. Brad Fulmer again. Craig B. is in here. Says, any Jason Stan Stanridge cards yet? Craig, thanks, man. Yeah, we definitely saw quite a few of those. And when the, uh, when the break commenced, um, I actually found a Ryan Sandberg Tough Stuff. That I don't think that you have, Craig, and I want to send it to you. So next time I send you a package, I got a Ryan Sandberg Tough Stuff. It's in pretty awesome condition. I think it's from like 92. But uh, I wanted to surprise you with it, but I can't keep a surprise at all, apparently. So that's why I just blurted it out for everybody. <laughs> so hopefully you don't have it, man. Appreciate that, Craig. Rod Beck. There is Pudge Rodriguez. Mark McGuire for... Jay Hadley, the Mark McGuire Super Collector, Hunley, Albert Bell. Some new faces in here. Jay Buhner in the final card that always sticks. Travis Lee. And two packs left for Joe. The best reprint, I mean, there's a Brooks Robinson in here, Eddie Matthews, Fletcher. There's definitely some nice names. Jim Tomei. We saw that one in the Yak Pack case. I want to get a case of Yak Pack cases soon. There's Paul Molitor, Eric Young, Mark Grace for Jason Easterling, and Jason Romano again. Just keep seeing those same damn <laughs> prospects over and over again. Where's the Lance Berkman at? Is it like a short print or something? Newhouser, only pitcher, went back-to-back -back MVP, Jody says. Travis Lee was definitely supposed to be a big deal. I know we talked about that before, Chet. The car was like, what, value like $100 back then? There's Nagel. Juan Gonzalez Henderson, that deceiving checklist that keeps throwing me off every single time. And um, Boggs is another nice Yankee for you. Glenn Davis. Lance Berkman, rookie. You got it. Freaking sweet. And Paul L. probably knew I was going to say this, but I've never seen that card. That is pretty awesome. Is that the same exact, that's the same exact pose from his 1997 Bowman card? 
<laughs> that's pretty ridiculous in front of that white van. Interesting. Lance Berkman, that's the big one. That's pretty much, I mean, that's the, really the best rookie of the set. Um, very nice. In the very last pack, second to last card in Aaron Aiken. Um, very, very cool. Lance Berkman, rookie. Joe Baumgarten, you always have a way of coming through with the big card. Um, yes, it's some nice cards in your stack. That Berkman, I think my favorite, personally. And that gets rid of the first box. And it takes us on to the next box here. We have another box lined up for you guys tonight. Appreciate you guys all being here, so I wanted to reward you with a treat. So let's get down to it, guys. I lost the other box of Top Stars, so... um. That was about a $90 value around there, so I figured I'd replace it with this box. It's about a $5 value. I hope you guys don't mind. I just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have to keep people on their toes every once in a while and make people mad so they will at least chuckle a little bit. Um, where's the other stack at? All right, leading off here, top left, we have Jay Hindle. And you know who Jay Hindle is? He is the guy responsible for the Jampax.net, the owner and proprietor of Jampax.net. He has a spot in this break. So, Jay, thanks for participating and uh, welcome, man. Hopefully you're in here. I think I missed out on some stuff. Uh, let me get caught up on the uh, stream real quick. I was blabbing about absolutely nothing. Boom Slank says, yo, everyone, please go over to Big Dog's Toy Chest and help him grow. Boom Slang, thanks a lot, man. Please check out Big Dog's Toy Chest. Also check out Boom Slang. And uh, Boom Slang's getting close to 900 subs. And right after that, Craig B., uh, I already announced that one, any Jason Standridge, Standridge yet. That's worthy of reading twice, though, I would say. Appreciate you uh, being here, Boom Slang. I know you've sent me some pictures of Big Dog's Toy Chest. He definitely has some cool inventory on there. Jay Hindle, jampacks.net. Check out the website. Get yourself a box, especially if um, stores are going to be closing down soon. If that happens, then uh, what better way than to still get that fix of ripping cards than buy subscription boxes and scouring eBay, obviously, too, which we all do probably too much. Canseco leading off. Terry Steinbach. We have an insert in the very first pack of Jay's stack. Moises Alou, Wade Boggs, Tony Cameron, and our insert card is going to be Larry Walker. Very nice. I love these cards. I think they're freaking awesome. Look at that. You can see my hand through the card. That is neat. Reminds me of Topps Laser, which I hope to do at some point. Topps Laser Box is like when... Um, off the charts recently. They were like used to be like fifty, sixty dollars a box. Now like double that. It's crazy, but um, they're kind of similar to this. Very, very cool set. Hopefully, do like a box of series one and two at some point. Very nice, Larry Walker, uh, for you, Jay. In the very first pack, let us continue with the good luck. Mel Rivera is also a nice one. And an insert card. In the next pack is it going to be an autograph? It's possible. Not a Larry Walker. Joe Carter, Chipper Jones, nice one there. Juan Encarnacion, Jeff Blauser, and what are we going to have here? Is it going to be an autograph? Louis Aparicio. Ooh. I don't think it's an autograph. I'm pretty sure it's a facsimile. That's definitely a rookie card I need to add to my PC. First card of this insert set. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a facsimile. That would be awesome if it wasn't, but um, I like that card a lot. I think the the actual card you can pick up for like I don't know. I think it's closer to like seventy to a hundred bucks somewhere in that range for it. But um, yeah, that is an interesting pose that he's doing jumping jacks in the outfield. Um, kind of looks. Like, I can't tell if it's like a little smirk or if he's got a big dip in. Nice one though, Aparicio. Uh, London says autograph. Yeah, I cannot. I mean, it's tough to tell, but it looks like a facsimile. I don't, I don't know. I'm terrible at telling stuff like that. That would be absolutely sick if it was an autograph. I mean, I know what the actual card looks like. I'm pretty sure that the the original cards all had facsimile autos on them. I think so, at least. Kurt Schilling. He's laughing at the picture in the background. We have another insert card in the next pack. Check that out. Bachette, Kenny Lofton, Chris Stowe. Jason Stanridge for Craig B. 
Glenn Davis. And it looks like we're going to have Matt Morris. I didn't even know he was in that set. Jay Hindles is hot stack. He is in here. Matt Morris insert card. He had a pretty decent career, though. That's not bad at all. Paul L says, uh, wasn't there a flea market a while back that sold 71 cards as autographs? Yeah, I've definitely seen that. I've seen 89 Bowman being sold as autographs. Um, <laughs> a lot of shady activity going on. And Canerico's in the next pack. Jake says, where's Bonds, Griffey, McGuire? We actually pulled them already. I'm sure we'll probably see some more of them. We're only in our first stack of the second box. Pudge Rodriguez, Barry Larkin, Maddox, Smoltz, and Paul Canerico. I really like these cards. Paul says Matt Morris had 22 wins in 2001. Yeah, he definitely pretty solid, man. Biggio, I think he, I think this is kind of a repeat of a very first uh, pack we opened in the first box. Sosa, Travis Fryman, Pat Henkin, who also had some a few good years, and Brett Caradonna. Somebody could tell me who the hell that guy is. I would appreciate it because I'd never heard of him. Big Rays, ball cards and auctions. Mark R, thanks for joining us. It feels like there might be an insert in this next pack. Possible insert card. Either that or I'm getting sloppy in my old age. Bernie Williams, Mark Wallers again. Piazza, always good to see him. Edgar Martinez, Brad Fulmer, and Jeff ends that stack out. Definitely some nice inserts and Hall of Famers in that stack. I think my favorite is those all-star cards, though. That, that Larry Walker is pretty freaking sweet, man. These cards are awesome. Very nice. Jay, thank you again for participating, man. Always good to have you with us. First stack down, that takes us to Cheswick Cigarettes, a.k.a. Steve. If he's in here, I don't think I saw him. We gotta find uh, one of these autographs or what? They just, like, hang that over your head. One in 30 packs, and they only put 24 in the box. Left behind times. What's up, buddy? Top right, Cheswick. See if we can find you, man. He's in here. What's up, buddy? Lance Berkman rookie card. First pack, man. I know you're a rookie collector, too, so that's pretty freaking awesome. Nagel. Oh, my goodness. You have... We found a rookie reprint autograph, and I think it's Robin Roberts, which I thought he passed away before... Oh, man. That... <laughs> That looks like a freaking autograph, does it not? It definitely is. Sandberg, Randy Johnson, Lance Berkman rookie card. But save some excitement for Robin Roberts autograph. Check that out. Holy crap. Hall of Famer Robin Roberts, the 52 Tops reprint autograph, top certified. Oh, man, is that freaking amazing. Cheswick. Holy crap, man. We pulled one. That is so freaking cool, man. Check it out. I swear I was reading that like uh, he passed away before these were really... No, you know what? That was Eddie Matthews and Hal Newhauser. They passed away. Um, never mind. Scratch what I just said. That was, that was stupid. Richie Ashburn is the one who was not able to sign. So Robin Roberts... Um, yeah, this is obviously a real signature. That, that is amazing, man. Holy crap. Let us get some sort of um, top loader or something for this card. And Jeez. Uh, I, I was not expecting that. That is absolutely beautiful. That beauty's been packed away for 23 years, Paul says. Holy crap, man. That is so cool. Lance Berkman rookie card in that pack. Whoa. That was freaking awesome, man. I love it. That is what makes me love opening these old boxes because you never, ever know what you're going to find. Wow. Just absolutely blown away by that. Stunning. Stunning. Put it in a card saver for you for safekeeping. Whoa. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I can't say enough. Congrats, Cheswick. And Paul Mulder ends that pack out. Holy crap. CNF says, did you see that Seth MacFarlane uh, auto-penned his autos for the new Orville release? I did not see that, man. That's pretty freaking awesome, though.
Randy Myers, another rookie reprint, Joey Cora, Bob Feller this time in the play ball series. Four of 15. And Jody says sleeve. I just did sleeve it. Clemens, nice Bob Feller. Jay Buner, Brady Anderson. Looks like luck is on your side tonight. And Joe's Card Corral's favorite, J.J. Davis. Whoa. I cannot get over that. Robin Roberts autograph. I don't know what that would go for. Maybe someone can look one up on eBay and let me know. I, don't, I have no idea. Cheswick. That is beautiful, man. Jason says, love watching your videos. Got me back into collecting. That's awesome to hear, man. Welcome back to the hobby. We are glad to have you with us, Jason. We have Caminetti, Javi Lopez leading off. Adam Kennedy, of course. They really love to shove Adam Kennedy down our throats. They got the uh, the parallel there. Larry Walker, Ken Griffey Jr., always nice to see him. Jason Worth, rookie card. Stoked to see that because we have not seen it yet tonight in this break. So that's definitely one of the top four rookie cards to pull out of here. Cheswick, you're killing it, man. Ta or you got the Lance Berkman rookie card. Jason Worth, you got a freaking Robin Roberts autograph. Sam Gledwell said, sure, you hit the Roberts auto, Cheswick, but the big hit in the stack was the Jason Derulo prospect card. John just glossed over. <laughs> Bo says, between 30 to 45 bucks for that um, Robin Roberts. That is freaking sweet, man. I wouldn't even sell it. I'd keep that. No more. Matt Williams, Justin Thompson, Clemens, Raul Mondesi, Mo Vaughn, and Todd Helton. Sorry if there's a glare on there. Two packs left for Cheswick. Man, that was freaking awesome, man. Glenn Davis, Marquise Grissom, Manny, Bobby Jones, Ellis Burks, Byerga, Eric Young, and Glenn Davis. That was probably <clears throat> the worst pack we've seen so far, honestly. Yeah, I would definitely say that that looks gradable. I don't know if you send cards in Cheswick, but uh, I don't know. I'd probably consider sending that one in. Jake says these names were huge in the 90s. It did, yeah, I, I definitely agree, man. There's some of these guys that were huge. Some of these inserts are tough to tell. They're like full on the front and back. But Juan Gonzalez, Musina, Mark Grace, Aaron Aiken, and there's that Brett Caradona or Dona again. Ends that... Glorious stack out for Cheswick. That was some great luck, man. Jason Worth, rookie, Berkman, and a freaking Robin Roberts. Wow. Freaking awesome, man. Takes us to CM Collectibles. Chad R. Chad, that's the vintage autos you have to hang on to. I agree, man. Bottom left. CM. Let's find you something good in this stack. See if we have another auto, maybe. How cool would that be? Maybe I'm a glutton. Leading off Joey Cora. I never really cared for him. I don't know why. There's old bagpipes, as Corey calls them. David Cohn, Hideo Nomo, Hunley, Molitor, Travis Lee. That smile is really starting to get to me. <laughs> Polar opposites, front and back. Johnny Romano. <laughs> Johnny Romano. Chris Stowe, first pack down. Hey, Elkanon, what's up, man? You just missed some crazy... Crazy uh, times in here, man. I'm still trying to recover from it. I'm excited. And we might have more crazy times coming. Tomei, Griffey, Mo Vaughn, Ryan Sandberg for Craig B. Todd Green, Justin Thompson. Oh, look at that. Eddie Matthews, 52 tops. That is freaking awesome. Shout out to Criterium Racer, the Boston Braves, card number 9 of 15. That is an awesome card. I like that one a lot, as Paul knew I was going to say. Jeremiah says, what's happened so far? I just joined. Uh, we pulled a rookie reprint auto uh, a few packs ago. It was absolutely amazing. I am so stoked about it. That would have been an amazing auto. <laughs> Lee says, ooh, is the Rhino the indicator card? It sure seems like that. There's Curry Wood, rookie card. I, I think you got one of those in your last stack, Chad. Daryl Kyle, it looks like you might have an insert card, though. Something coming up. We'll say that for later. Johnson, Jay Buner. Chris Benson, rookie card. What else do we have hiding away in here? Of course, Aaron Aiken. Curry Wood, rookie. That's a nice one. Daryl Kyle and our 
Insert card is going to be Darren Erstad. Second year card for him. Card number seven of the set. These are pretty cool cards, too. My only gripe with these is this one doesn't really have paper loss like the Matt Morris does. And still some speckles of white at the top edge there, but um, still nice cards. Definitely a cool insert set. The All-Star ones are my favorite, though. Like the, what are those, the... The other ones we're pulling, whatever they're called. There's too many all-star inserts in this set. Adam Kennedy again. I think everyone is tired of him. Marquise Grissom, Randy Myers, Kevin Eddie, Vinny Castilla, Eric Young, Brady Anderson. And there's Adam Kennedy. Two packs left for CNM. Helton on the back of this one. Juan gone on the top. No more. Javi Lopez, Conine, Raul Mondesi, Mark Grace, <laughs> Jason Stanridge again. And there is Todd Helton. Final pack. And we have one more stack to rip before the 92 Tops Kids case rip. That is true, Jody. If you rip enough, you will strike gold at some point or another. Jason Stanridge is terrible. I don't even remember him. Matt Williams, Bobby Jones, final pack. Ellis Burks, Palmero, Todd Green, Jason Delero. He looks very bland. And the look on his face is he looks like he'd be a very boring guy to have a conversation with. Like he wouldn't have much to bring to the table. That's just how I look at it. JJ Davis looks like he might have some stories, though. Final card of that stack for Chad R. Second stack in. Sorry we could not pull you any autographs, Chad. But you definitely had some decent rookies and stuff in your both of your stacks. That takes us to the final one, Jeremy T. <laughs> TC fan Chris as he looks stoned. Final stack of the night. This has been a fun rip, man. I really like this one. There's 98 top stars. There's like stars and steel. There's a bunch. There's all kinds of weird oddball sets to rip into. Speaking of oddball sets, come up here in the next um I don't know. Probably in the next few weeks. I think out of the next month or so, breaks lined up. But this is one I wanted to pick up. Stadium Club Chrome. I never knew these existed until like a month ago. I think they only made them one year, and that was 2000. It's kind of tough to track down a box of these. I think there's about 100 bucks somewhere in that range. And there's not many of them on eBay that pop up. There might be a couple on there now, but I think the buy it nows are pretty expensive. Stadium Club Chrome. I think there's like some refractors and stuff in there. So looking forward to that. And um, next week, we're doing the high end. I don't really do a lot of high-end stuff on here, but uh, this is a product that I definitely used to always want to buy when I was younger, but it was more expensive. 95 Select Certified. We have two boxes of these to rip next week. Um, I think these cost me like $140 a box, somewhere in that range. So higher end than I'm used to doing on here, but um, the payoff could be big because some of those um, mirror gold inserts and whatnot are pretty expensive, especially PSA 10s. They're freaking pricey. So... We'll have eight spots open for that next week if you're interested in joining. And then also we have 03 Upper Deck coming up. Series 1 and 2, 96 Emotion, Stadium Club Chrome. And then tomorrow night we're opening a whole crap load of 94 Select Packs. I have 25 of these packs to open. 94 Select Series 1, and then I think there's 21 or 20 packs of these. And then five packs of Series 2 looking for refractors. I actually bought... 26 packs of 94 finest for $30 on eBay. I could not believe it. Nobody else bid on them. $30 free shipping. Like, holy crap. I was the only person that bid. Like, a box of Series 1 94 finest is over $100. And there's only 24 packs in a box. I got 21 packs plus 5 Series 2 for 30 bucks. Pretty crazy. Alamar, Harold Baines, Galavin, Adam Kennedy, Jeremy T. Good luck to you, man. Let's find you something sneaking in a way yeah i mean somebody could have pulled refractors out already and just mesh packs in together but um that's always a possibility but i'm still looking forward to trying to find uh you know maybe seeing some of those and also seeing like you know griffies and some stars and hall of famers still be a fun rip i, I just i can't pass that kind of a price up like a little over a dollar a pack for finest that's crazy tom glavin we do have a rookie reprint in this pack lance johnson kevin apier john allrude Troy Cameron, nice Tony Gwynn. I think it's the first time we saw it tonight. A rookie reprint of Monty Irvin. 
That's pretty freaking sweet, though. We've seen almost his entire insert set tonight. Is David Ortiz in this? David Ortiz is not in this set. He only had two cards in 97. The Ultra and the Fleer. Fleer and Fleer Ultra. Both in Series 2. That's a cool card, though. Monty Irvin, play ball card. His rookie reprint. Brian Z, I appreciate you being here, man. Vernon Wells, rookie card. Seen two dozen of that card tonight. Jason Worth, parallel. Jason Dixon, Paul O'Neill. Shout out to Norman R. Check it out. Jason Worth, parallel. Pretty freaking sweet, Jeremy. That is a nice one. One of 12 packs. They're kind of tough to tell, but they have a little shiny. They're like embossed. They're not embossed, but um, they're like foil. Tino Martinez, Knobloch, Jason Stanridge. For all you ladies out there. And Vernon Wells, rookie card again. Worth did play for a long time. Final three packs of the night. The Worth, uh, I think if you're looking like, if you are looking book value on the Jason Worth, probably five bucks. If you're looking eBay value, probably like, I don't know, probably the same price, honestly, because eBay sellers will charge a dollar, then five, four dollars for shipping. So basically be the same exact thing. Mark McGuire, I know someone asked about him earlier, but I mean, that parallel, it's probably, you know, two or three times that. Big Hurt again, nice one there. Chili Davis, Jason Delero, and JJ Davis. Final two. And then there were two. Let's, um, let's put the rally caps on here, aka this card. Edward says, just pulled a super short print Mo Rivera 2020 update. That's freaking awesome, man. Jeremiah says, Royals are going to win the World Series in 2021. Early predictions. There is Ron Jeremy. David Justice. Barry Bonds. Someone asked about him earlier, too. The no-name, no-number checklist. Big Cat. Gary Sheffield. Fred McGriff. I don't know if we saw any of his cards at tonight. That might be the first one. And Scott Hodges looking extremely cocky. I don't know if that worked out too well for him. The final pack of tonight. Brian B., what's up, man? Thank you guys all for being here. This is a freaking awesome night, man. It, it is always awesome whenever you pull one of those chase cards. That was the best feeling as a kid was pulling something like that. And still, even though it's not my card and I'm sending it to somebody else, that feeling alone is so awesome, man. And I love it. It is so cool. Eckersley, Pedro Martinez. Our final pack here looks to be pretty good. Sean Estes, Ripken, Cecil Fielder, Troy Cameron, and Juan Carnacion kind of fizzle that pack out but still some nice names in there and that concludes 97 top stars that was freaking awesome man I, I really enjoyed that i hope you guys enjoyed it too like i said i don't know if there's any boxes on ebay or not but um i paid about 90 bucks a piece for those around there somewhere like history through cardboard says auction <laughs> i don't know when the next one will be it probably won't be for a long time that didn't uh it didn't do so well last time. There really wasn't anybody in there. There really wasn't much interest. Maybe we have to wait till baseball season. NCJ, thanks for joining us, man. I appreciate that. Um, don't forget to salute Dennis Cook. Check these out if you're interested. There might be a box on eBay somewhere. Again, congrats to Cheswick on the Robin Roberts autograph. What a hell of a pull. Criterium Race on the way out. So just bought the Matthews 97 Top Star Auto. That's freaking awesome, man. Hopefully this video... Um, um, led to you buying that. That is so cool. Robin Roberts autograph. Awesome pull. We found what we were looking for in two boxes. Freaking sweet. Thank you guys all for participating. I hope that you will join me tomorrow night when we savagely rip through a whole bunch of Top's Finest packs and then throw a temper tantrum if we don't find anything good. <laughs> Just kidding. It's always going to be a fun rip and I am stoked to open those tomorrow night. Hopefully you'll join me for that. Until then, have yourself a great evening. You guys are the best. I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Have a great night, guys.